Hi guys, I have some crazy measles news for you. It is March 7, 2019, and unfortunately, the majority of Americans have just gone over the cliff. They are that shit crazy. Wisconsin man charged with breaking measles quarantine to go to gym. It's unclear if the man had measles or was under quarantine because he had been exposed and had no proof of immunity. This article, wow, criminally charged with breaking a measles quarantine by leaving his home to go to the gym, according to court documents. Jeffrey Morawski, 57 years old, of Brookfield was charged February, February 22nd with a misdemeanor count of willfully violating the recommendations. How do you violate a recommendation? A recommendation. Well, that's like a suggestion. We recommend that you stay home. Well, I want to go to the gym. Well, you're going to be criminally prosecuted for failing to follow our recommendation. Okay. Wow, this country sure has changed. Um, willfully violating the recommendations of a local health officer or subjecting others to danger of contracting a communicable disease. His wife, Christine Bennett, 58, was charged with the same misdemeanor for allegedly aiding him in taking actions that could have exposed people in a public place to a communicable disease. However, we don't know if he had the measles. But he, I guess, had been exposed to someone who did have the measles? Are you getting that something is wrong with this. Um, Morawski was under quarantine in his home until deemed non-contagious by uh, a county health official or until May 7, 2018. Um, so from February 22nd, I guess, Right? No, charged February 22nd. So, well, wait a second. He has to stay in his home until May 7, or if some public health official has deemed him non-contagious. All right, May 7, wow. All right, that's a long time to be home. Uh, don't people, you know, have to work? All right. Um... Oh, April 26. So he was, okay, Morawski allegedly admitted to breaking the quarantine because he was going crazy having had to stay inside since April 26. Since April 26? Oh, it's not April yet. Wait, what? Oh, oh, this happened last year and this is posted today? on NBC News. Okay, this article clearly is not written very well. So you guys, you know, in mainstream media, could you get your artificial intelligence right? You know, the bots that write these articles. Um, all right, let's see. This took place When? Dated March 5, 2019. All right, let's just read along and maybe we'll find out when this all started. All right. Um, Morawski allegedly escaped his home by hiding inside a car driven by his wife. He went to a gym, although he later told police he stayed only a few minutes because he felt very guilty and sick to his stomach for deciding to go out. He was spotted by an off-duty sheriff's deputy. 
Wow, that deputy just happened to recognize Morawski, knew that he was under a quarantine order, and saw him with a gym bag walking down the street to a parking lot where he got into the car driven by his wife. The deputy asked Morawski, aren't you supposed to be at home? Morawski put his head down and stated yes and began apologizing profusely for being outside in the world. Morawski allegedly admitted to breaking the quarantine because he was going crazy having had to stay inside since April 26. The quarantine placed Morawski in the least restrictive type possible. Least restrictive? Hmm. Jail, I guess, was the most restrictive. Um, he was supposed to stay at home at all times. His immediate family members living within the residence were allowed to enter and leave the residence at any time as they had been vax- Ah, oh, okay, there the vaccinated guys can leave. So they were vaccinated against the virus. So they could leave. It's the unvaccinated Morawski that was quarantined. But we still don't know if he actually had the measles. Or was he infected with the measles? We don't know. Are you seeing something wrong here? <laughs> I can tell you when someone is quarantined, it is not because they have the measles. It is because that person was exposed and does not have proof of immunity. Okie dokie. So this is to inject fear in everybody who is not vaccinated because if you are not vaccinated, you don't have to have the disease. They can quarantine you anyway. You like it? Someone with measles would be isolated. Oh, okay. It wasn't immediately clear why Morawski and Bennett were charged in late February. Ah, nearly 10 months after the alleged violation. Oh. So all of this happened last year. They're charged this year in February. Getting it? Now, is there a Murawski and Bennett couple <laughs> in Wisconsin? Um, well, you can do the research to check this out. But just the mere fact that this is coming out, oh, at the time of the measles outbreak and at the time that they want to get rid of these exemptions and make, make vaccination mandatory, that's when they decide to go and arrest these people, charge them for breaking the recommended quarantine. Oh, Americans, please put put back, you know, that critical thinking skill into your brain. Flip on that logic, you know, common sense uh, switch in your brain. And when you read these articles, you, you should be very, very confused. Okay? Um, but when you read these articles, if you don't see an agenda here, I don't know what to tell you. There is a big agenda a big agenda to get away with exemptions, uh, do away with exemptions, and make vaccination mandatory. Not just for kids, but adults, which is coming, and I'll show you, oh, an adult vaccination plan. But Clark County keeps 800 students out of school due to measles outbreak. Three weeks. They're keeping students out of school because of a measles outbreak. But they do have a rather high percentage of students vaccinated in Washington. So the vaccinated kids, why 
Why pull them out of school? Oh, is it just the unvaccinated kids? Well, you don't get to know that. Um, Seattle Times reports over 800 students considered exposed to the highly contagious disease in Clark County. Oh, they've been exposed. Um, so I guess they're quarantined in their homes. What the hell is going on in this country? What the hell is going on? School activities, field trips, uh, education disrupted. Three weeks out of school. If one child in a school is diagnosed, all are considered exposed. And any student whose parents cannot prove their child was vaccinated is kept away. Oh, so these are the unvaccinated children that can't attend school. We're in big, big, big trouble here. Um, Americans can't think anymore. And our government officials are doing the most bizarre things in this country. Woof! It's unbelievable. Measles can spread when it reaches a community in the U.S. where groups of people are unvaccinated. San Francisco. Here we go. Bay Area. Oh, measles cases. Here's where the disease has been reported. <gasps> First case of measles in San Francisco since 2013 was disclosed by the Department of Public Health on Tuesday. Health officials now say the patient in that case infected two other Bay Area residents. Adult resident of Santa Clara County boarded an international flight into San Francisco while sick with measles last month and seems to have transmitted. Seems to? You don't, you're not sure. Okay, I guess you're not sure. Uh, transmitted the virus to two other passengers on the flight. One from San Francisco and another from Santa Clara County. Oh my God. What to do, what to do. <gasps> These countries have measles epidemic, uh, epidemics. Philippines, Indonesia, Israel, Ukraine, Romania, Brazil, and much of Western Europe are they going to do something like, well, you can't fly anymore to these countries. Um, you're banned from going to those countries because you'll come back with those diseases. Or are we going to say you got to get vaccinated for every disease we've got vaccines for before you can fly? Maybe that's coming. Uh, yeah, measles can spread when it reaches a community where groups of people are unvaccinated in 2018. Listen to, listen to the trigger words here. The words, the sentences, the, what is said in almost every mainstream media article and newscast. In 2018, seven people were sickened by a measles outbreak in Santa Clara County. On Friday, the Center of Disease Control published a report finding that the outbreak was limited almost exclusively to families who'd chosen to forego vaccinations for their children, including two children whose mother lied about their vaccination status when initially asked by public health investigators. Yes, it's, it's just those parents who don't vaccinate their children. They are the problem. A law in 2015 cracking down on personal and belief exemptions, which allow people to send their children to California schools and daycares without vaccinating them. Well, that was done away with in 2015. Well, they're getting ready to do away with medical exemptions in California. Um, however, in the years since, the number of people claiming medical exemptions saying they can't medicate their children because of health conditions spiked 250%, raising concerns that some of the medical exemptions might not be legitimate. California, do you have medical exemptions or did they do away with all the exemptions? Not sure. Uh, but that's the whole push here 
to make vaccination mandatory. All within the last two days. All of these articles, the last two days. Anti-vaxxers, adult, son, gets measles. Now he has this message for the world. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Here we go. What's your message? When you get a disease like measles or chicken pox, you develop immunity to it so you'll never get it again. A vaccine tricks your body into thinking you've had the disease when you really haven't. Here's how it works. A needle delivers the... Not going to listen to this. I thought that was the message. Oh, hit three years ago, Joshua uh, Ner Ner Ries, I don't know, a 30-year-old software prod product manager in Chicago developed a high fever and rash. Doctors prescribed antibiotics, but he just got sicker and sicker. He went to the emergency room where a doctor said it looked like the measles. Had he been vaccinated as a child? He texted the question to his mother. She sent back a thumbs down emoji. His next stop was an isolation room at Northwestern Memorial Hospital. They're quarantining people. He became so weak at one point, he couldn't walk without assistance. He lost 25 pounds. It took months to fully recover. I felt horrible. It took a serious toll. Okay. Wow, it makes me so angry. My parents thought they were doing the right thing. They were persuaded by the anti-vaxxers. <laughs> oh my God, man. We are living one hell of a time, aren't we? We really are. Okay. Oh, outbreak in New York, Brooklyn. One student was not vaccinated against measles. 21 others got sick. Okay, one student not vaccinated, so the 21 others were vaccinated, but they got sick. Getting it? Okay, public officials and health experts had given several warnings. Do not allow a student in school if they had not been vaccinated against measles. During New York City's largest measles outbreak in a decade, a school in Brooklyn ignored that advice, resulting in one student infecting at least 21 other people with the virus. Other people or other students? Other people? Um, because if it's just one student was not vaccinated against measles and he got 21 others sick, I guess all of the other people sick weren't students. The students had been vaccinated. You don't know. You don't know. Uh, Williamsburg is reigniting concerns that too many people in New York's ultra-Orthodox Jewish communities are unvaccinated, as well as worries that measles would continue to spread spread after travelers arrived last fall from parts of Israel and Europe where the virus was spreading. So what did they do? In December, the city's health department issued an emergency health measure ordering that schools in selected zip codes prohibit unvaccinated students from attending classes. Health department last week said the yeshiva student who, along with the other victims, has not been identified. Get it? What's wrong with these articles? Okay. So we don't know if the 21 others were students or just other people or who they are, actually, because they've not been identified. Well, if they've not been identified, then how do you know? that 21 others have been uh, given the measles by the unidentified yeshiva student who apparently had the measles. Am I, like, losing my mind and I'm incapable of comprehending something that is, well, readily comprehensible? 
or are you following along with me and are you confused as well? Uh, but all of these people were not vaccinated, not identified, but they know that they have not been vaccinated. The child did not show symptoms while in class. So then I guess he was identified because somebody knows that he didn't show symptoms while in class. I don't know what to make of anything anymore. Parents who oppose vaccinations for measles and all other illnesses not only put their own children at risk, but endanger other children and families as well. What I do know, what I do know is happening is there is a major push to get rid of exemptions, to have everybody vaccinated, and this is how they're doing it. But isn't it funny that all of these articles, this one too, March 7, 2019, they're all coming out at the same time. So, what is this? You are listening to the David Knight Show. Let's see. It was not a disease that was feared by people when I was growing up. As a matter of fact, I've got a clip here uh, for you of uh, how measles was treated in popular culture. Uh, going, going back, back to uh, things, things like the Donna Reed Show in the 1950s, the Flintstones in the 1960s, the Brady's in the 1970s, and so forth. A lot of clips of that kind of stuff. But I've, I've talked many times about, about how these childhood diseases, uh, it was very, very common, common for parents, parents and they found out somebody had it. It certainly happened in my wife's family. family. They had four, four kids, three, three years, years apart. apart. She's, She's a twin. And uh, when, when they found out the kids down the street had measles, mom said, all right, I'll go down there and play with them today. So they... <laughs> they, they would call CBS, CBS just, just to do that today. Uh, you've, you've got kids, kids who are out free range, range playing, playing with other kids. kids. You know, uh, uh, be, be back, back before, before dark. dark. <laughs> That's That's a, that was a risky world in which we live. Now everybody's scared to death by mainstream media. media. They, they think there's a uh, yeah, serial, serial killer, killer on every block and so forth. But, you know, they would go down there and get it so they could get it over with. Get all the kids sick at once and get it over with. Uh, going, uh, going back, back to the Philippines, Philippines when, when you look, look at the actual data, data they had 4,300 4, kids had, had measles. They said 70 some odd had died or something. Or something. Well, well, how does that change? change? How, how is that, that different, different from what, what they would usually expect kids uh, to have, have a life expectancy, expectancy there in the Philippines? And I looked at it, and for children dying of all different causes, the deaths per thousand was something like 28 deaths per thousand is what they would typically expect. So we don't know if these outbreaks that they're claiming, you know, in the Philippines and in Indonesia are outbreaks of measles or you guys know, you guys know about the lies. Hi, Peter. What are you doing from school? They sent me home. Measles. Measles. It's either measles or a strange piece of red freckles. We have got a temperature. It's only 101.1. What's the record? Never mind. Are you sure it's the measles? Well, they say they got all the symptoms. A slight temperature, a lot of dots, and a great big smile. A great big smile. No school for a few days. They'll allow my dotted son. We'll be telling him to bring him some comic books, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Boy, this is the life, isn't it? Yeah. If you have to get sick. Okay, do you see? Do you see that not too long ago the measles were laughed at on TV shows? Alice now has the measles. Oh, how did we get here? How did we get here? Is it because they have so thoroughly indoctrinated uh, maybe two generations of Americans to believe that the measles? are so incredibly dangerous that now we are having to counter 
this lie? I mean, it has literally flipped on its head from, you know, people, parents. Oh, Tommy's got the measles down the road. Well, we're going to get all of you kids into the room with Tommy. You all have the measles together. All right. Uh, I want you to see just the tail end of this video posted by Celebrate Truth. It's just measles. Don't panic. This is now. Wow. wow. Talk, Talk about, about panic, panic alert. alert. I mean, I mean can, you can you see the, the difference here? Do you see a problem? problem? Maybe, Maybe it's time, time to research into vaccinations. Kind of find, find out there might, there might be a little, little bit more of a story going, going on. on. Anyways, Anyways, let's, let's keep, keep exposing the world's, world's lies. lies. Celebrate, Celebrate truth. truth. Blessings. Yeah. Do you see something wrong here? Please, baby boomers, let's hear your voice. You know, I, as far as I'm concerned, every doctor, every scientist, every researcher, um, everyone with credentials to speak about these diseases, viruses, measles, you all need to come out strong. You all need to organize and you need to come out strong in beating back this outrageous lie about the measles. I'm not going to play any of this little cartoon here. Family Guy, Peter has measles. But listen to it, guys, because they have all of the propaganda right there. Oh, my God! Parents who don't vaccinate their children, go after them. Go after them. And you saw not too long ago, just a few decades ago, you know, the measles. No big deal. So what the hell is going on? Well, uh, listen to this. Uh, Dr. Dr. Costello, Costello uh, said, said, I really, really appreciate what, what she said. She said, really, even one death, one death is too many. many. And, and she said that there have been two measles deaths. Actually, she, she talked, talked about measles death. death. I think in, in 2015, there actually was, was another measles death in this country reported, reported by the CDC in 2003. So there, so there were two, two deaths, deaths, measles, measles deaths, 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 between 2003 and then the present. What, 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 what didn't, didn't come out in the testimonies during, during that same period, period of time? Again, this is from the Vaccine Adverse Events Reporting System. There have been 127 measles vaccine-related deaths. So, so if, if we're worried about, about one death or two deaths, deaths from measles, what about, about 127 deaths from the vaccine as a complication? And I didn't mention, but obviously, you know, the flu vaccine has also been reported to cause deaths as well. So what about allowing people to exercise their religious exemption or medical exemption so that they can avoid being forced to receive vaccines that could potentially be devastating or fatal. Yeah, okay. Well, how about not even uh, requiring exemptions? How about parents just decide on your own whether to vaccinate or not vaccinate? That was Dr. Moss university-affiliated medical doctor explaining the deaths from measles and from the measles vaccine. And look at what they're putting on the banners. YouTube, the MMR vaccine is a vaccine against measles, mumps, and rubella. The first dose, generally given to children around 9 to 15 months of age, with a second dose at 15 months to 6 years of age, with at least 4 weeks between the doses. Oh, measles outbreak traced to fully vaccinated vaccinated patient for first time. Um, 
This posted when? Today? Yesterday? The 5th. Yes, the U.S. Constitution allows compulsory vaccination. There we go. It's the push. Um, I will link below to this PDF. What is it? This is uh, National Adult Immunization Plan, a path to implementation on how to get adults vaccinated. And this from the same site. Our Department of Health and Human Services, the National Vaccine Program, Office National Adult Immunization Plan. Get ready, guys, because this, you know, when you see all of the hype and the push and, oh, my God, people are being quarantined, um, students kept out of school, um, San Francisco, now California, you're having measles cases. Oh, my God, a kid that was not vaccinated, now he, at 35 or whatever, gets the measles. And now, yeah, my mother was wrong. She was an anti-vaxxer. Oh, now outbreaks in New York. And, yeah, this is coming. This is coming. Unless Americans begin to think again, to really think again. All right, um, I will link below to everything, but man, um, you know, it's one thing if it was really difficult to expose these lies. It's not. It's so unbelievably easy. So you would think that the ease of exposing these lies would have crippled the liars already. Uh-uh, they're just rolling on strong and implementing the agenda that will eventually be everybody get vaccinated, it's mandated, coming to you, I am quite sure you are not going to be able to fly anywhere because, you know, the measles, hmm, it's coming from travelers. But the CDC, before they were saying that it was coming from travelers, well, it was coming from the unvaccinated crowd. But now it's from travelers. So, get ready. You will have to be vaccinated before you get on a plane to go anywhere. Yeah, I think it's coming. All right, guys. Uh, I don't, I, I, I am, I, I, I just feel shell-shocked, shell-shocked about, in regards to what has happened to this country, Americans are clearly very, very sick, not physically, not just physically, but mentally, mentally, we are mentally ill here. Yeah, we're living in a psychiatric institution. I have not said that in a long time. We are living in a psychiatric institution. It's just that it's open air. It's an open air psych ward. Yeah. Well, how do you like it? I don't. I really want to live somewhere where people are like, you know, normal, healthy you know, they think, they're sane, they're, you know, forget about it. It's just not going to be a happening thing. Not in this country, not the way it's going.